This is Bob for Images Jewelers. I'm the graduate gemologist here. A lot of people ask us, how do you tell if a stone is a, a fake diamond and a real diamond? Um, there's a lot of simple ways uh, to tell. Uh, one of them is, it, the easiest way really, uh, is if you can weigh the stone. If you can get it out loose like this, get, it, get a loose stone and you can weigh it on a diamond scale, but not many people have a diamond scale. But for example, this is a, uh, a one carat diamond. Uh, actual or real diamond and this is a same size CZ but it weighs a carat 70 so uh, obviously there's a big discrepancy in weight so that's that is like a surefire way to tell these two stones here are diamond simulants this one is a material called luster which is carbon based uh, but it, it weighs differently it's heavier than actual diamond and this is moissanite, and same thing here. You can go, you can go online and look up uh, uh, charts for diamond size uh, and weight equivalents, and it, it will tell you, like for example, a 6.5 millimeter diamond should be approximately a one carat, uh, but eight millimeter should be a two carat, and that's in a round. And there's charts on all the different shapes and everything. Uh, so that's that's actually the easiest way and sure, most surefire way, but without a diamond scale, it's hard to tell. Uh, the other way is to uh, look at it with a loop. I got to dig my loop out. Just take a loop like this, and to you know to look at the stone. And if you'll find that the facet junctions where the the flats on the diamond come together, on a diamond they will be extremely sharp, very crisp. On a cubic zirconia or moissanite or luster material, uh, they'll be more rounded. Uh, that's just due to the material is not as hard. You won't come to a crisp, hard, definite uh, edge. Uh, that takes a good keen eye to tell, tell them apart in a good lighting. So that's another way. Another way is to um, breathe on the stone, and I'm going to do that here in a second. And hold on. Fog it up, and it's going to last about three seconds if it's a diamond. It'll you know, turn to clear like you just saw. Um, if I do it on this cubic zirconia, you'll see it's going to last five to, to eight, nine seconds somewhere in there before it goes clear again. So it's not a definitive way, but it is an indication. All the other materials do the same thing, and that is due to diamond's ability to dissipate heat. The other materials don't have that same ability, so it takes them longer to dissipate that heat, that fogging that you put on it, and that's an indication that it could be a, could be a fake. Uh, the other is you could take a, a diamond, and I don't know if I have a large enough one here to show you, or take a cubic, take the simulant and put it over some writing, like on a newspaper, and uh, you can you'll be able to read the writing or see the writing through the stone. A diamond, you will you will not. Uh, you should be not be able to see the writing through the stone like you can here. So the um, the last the last indication is you know you look at the mounting if it's in a mounting and this is not a real definite way because they, they mount cubic zirconias and and moissanites in, in really nice mountings now. So but if it's in a very expensive looking mounting, a lot of little diamonds on it, eh, it could be an indication that it might be real. But it's that's sure not a, a, a surefire way. So. Um, those are the easiest ways that one can identify a diamond at home.